Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to this uh, new video. Um, in this video, I'm gonna uh, render uh, this part of the, the leg from beginning to finish. Um, uh, so yeah, just take a look and see how it worked. And, um, and that's it, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just check it out. Uh, these pencils, for example, here in this area, they're not very um, sharp, tight, in my opinion. There's still a lot of like, like move, movement going on. I'm all about that, but when it comes to inking, um, I like to have it a little bit tighter, more like more, like this. This is a little bit tighter because you can see like just exactly where I want the pencils to be. Uh, so when you have things like this, uh, there's a lot of interpretation that you have to do. Um, and I really don't like interpreting things because I interpret in an area uh, something that I think will look good but then when I zoom out and I take a look at the image as a whole it doesn't look doesn't seem to fit right with uh, what I was going for so I usually shy away from having to interpret things like that and normally when I ink I want to have my lines defined as much as I as much as possible um, but in this case, for example, I have a clear idea of um, what it is that I want. See, so, yeah, I would like to finish this piece today. You'll see how I do that. Uh, see, I'm zooming in helps a little bit. As always, I apologize for the background noise. I live in Lima. There's people everywhere you go. And um, there's always a close proximity to your neighbors. And you can hear what, everything they do. And I can hear everything you do. Which means I could probably hear me talk. <laughs> I don't think it's that serious. It could. Alright, so that leg's pretty much. Oh, wait. That's what happens when I do stuff at an angle that I'm not comfortable with. Things come out a bit weird. You see a little thing at the top? I didn't want that. <laughs> I'm going to make it work. I should be alright. Alright, so now, now that I have my lines defined, I can erase all of this stuff here and clean it up. From the kneecap, I guess from the kneecap on down. I don't know how long this tip video will take. I apologize if it's more than 10 minutes. But you'll be able to see how I render this uh, this here uh, this here boot. At least that's the idea. This outside area that I'm that I'm uh, inking. Uh, like the silhouette, the outside, this is called the contour. I'm a big fan of, um, I like, uh, I think it just looks nice uh, having thick contour lines. Some people like it, some people don't. Not too thick, mind you, but a little bit thicker than the rest of the lines. I feel that it helps you to 
clearly uh, see the, the character. Always good, for example, like in these areas that where, where there's a lot of uh, shadow, I like to go back in a little bit thicker, uh, thicker, thicker lines right there. Those are, what, those are line weights, thicker line weights in areas where, where there should be uh, shadows. It's a good thing to do. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for that. Um, oh, I should've got my tools ready. Another case of me not being ready. All right. And let's see how I... Let's go with this. Pins on the other side of the field. <laughs> Here we go. I'm uh, going with the O2. Let me change some of this stuff. Later, I'm going to show you guys a, a video explaining um, this thing that I to explain to you um, how in art everything, absolutely everything, is shape. It comes down to shape. Everything comes down to shape. Everything you draw comes down to shape. But I'll get into that later. Not today. Um, yeah, and as you can see, I use an assortment of tools depending on the line that I want to that I want to use, line that I want to create. Yeah, that's that's the foot rendered. Okay. Um, now I'm going to add a few things to uh, to give some wear and tear 
to the to the thing though. I need sets the little it's line dot 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 lines dots dying dots wherever you like to put them. Usually in the corners, um, in areas where I mean, for that kind of thing, for example, you have to be very observant with uh, things around the house um, and how they get worn out, where the tear comes from. Pay attention to things like that. And then you have an idea as to where you should put some of these uh, markings. And then, um, and that's it. That's pretty much it. Let me zoom out. Sweet, in 10 minutes. So yeah, I just rendered this. Uh, I rendered this boot in 10, less than 12 minutes. All right, and this is the boot for my character. I have to continue with the rest of this leg. I have to continue with the rest of this and the rest of this, but you have an idea of uh, how my rendering process is. I'm just trying to respect the shape. In this case, I'm looking at a leg, looking at boots and things like this, and uh, trying to uh, identify shadows and shapes. I'll get into that later, but um, but yeah, that's that's the video. Uh, if you like it, please uh, hit the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll be I'll be sure to post as much as I can um, about um, about my art and my drawing process, and um, and yeah. So this is a character that I'm going to reveal um, at the end of the year, along with other concept art, because I got a I got a bunch of other uh, uh, I got a bunch of other art that I want to share off, share and show off to you guys. Also revealing the, the name of my comic and things like that. Um, I'll be doing that at the end of, uh, of the year. Um, and, um, and yeah, so just this is the slow process, as you can see, uh, from concept to the very last page of the actual comic. Hopefully you guys will hang out with me in all that time, which I'm assuming is going to be years. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, be, please be patient with me. And, um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Take care.